let's let h sub k represent the harmonic sum 1 plus a half plus a third up to 1 over k. Now consider a triangular array with n minus 1 rows. In the first row, place the harmonic sum h1. In the second row, place the harmonic sum h2, and so on, so that the entry in row i and column j is the fraction 1 over j. Now consider a triangular array of boxes with n rows. Take the number n and split it into n copies of 1. Then equally distribute 1 into each column using fractions, so that column j contains all entries of fractions 1 over j as pictured. Now for the trick. We can combine these two triangular arrays to make an n by n square. However, if we now look at this square row by row, we see that each row sums up to the same value. Row 1 is hn, row 2 is hn, and so on. Each row sums to the value h sub n. But in this case there are n total rows, and therefore the sum of all the entries is given by n times h sub n. But now we have an interesting identity. We see that if we sum up the harmonic sums where k ranges from 1 to n minus 1, we have n times h sub n minus n. This is a formula for the sum of harmonic sums. But wait, there's more that we can do with this identity. We just proved visually that the sum of harmonic sums where k ranges from 1 to n minus 1 is equal to n times h sub n minus n. We can get an equivalent identity by adding h sub n to both sides. A theorem due to Ernesto Cesaro says that if we have an infinite series that converges with some s, and we consider the sequence of partial sums given by s sub n, then the sequence of average partial sums, shown here, also converges to the same sum s. Let's combine these two facts to prove something interesting about the harmonic series. Let's assume that the harmonic series, which is the sum where k ranges from 1 to infinity of the fractions 1 over k, converges so that it has a sum s. This means that the limit as n approaches infinity of h sub n is equal to s. Then according to the theorem, we have that s is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of the average partial sums. But according to our formula, this limit can be replaced by the limit as n approaches infinity of h sub n minus 1 plus h sub n over n. And this limit is equal to s minus 1, because h sub n approaches s, 1 approaches 1, and n grows without bound. Therefore, we've proved that s equals s minus 1. But this is a contradiction, and that means that our assumption was incorrect, so that in fact the harmonic series diverges.